I just broke in Ovidio's house. I'm gonna try and make some shots inside his place. His bathroom. At this point, I hear someone knocking and then someone saying this Mom, call Griselda. Llamale a Griselda. Ovidio's mom. A neighbor from the house behind saw me over a window. She saw me inside Ovidio's uh, room. And she was about to call Griselda Lopez, Ovidio's mom. And to be honest, I was shitting myself. I wasn't really afraid to be taken and killed or beaten up because I knew that that was highly unlikely since they wouldn't really mess with a journalist or an international journalist now. I mean, they will uh, in any other moment, but right now, they, I'm pretty sure that they don't want to bring in more heat in that area, especially with a lot of the uh, uh, bad press that they've been getting and all of the presence from the uh, Mexican military is still there. What I was afraid of was to be taken uh, to prison for breaking in. Um, I thought that if they came and found me inside, they will probably... Uh, have taken me, taken me to the authorities, and I, us right now, instead of being here sitting talking to you guys, I would have been inside a prison in Sinaloa, very probably in Culiacán, getting beaten up by all the people that are in jail supporting the Sinaloa cartel as the stupid journalist who broke in Ovidio's house. I kept hearing that lady calling Griselda. She was telling her to come. I'm not sure if she was saying that someone was inside the house or the journalist inside the house. She was saying something around, around that. But while she was on the phone and I was trying to go um, out, I was making my way out, I started hearing the motorcycle of the punteros and sicarios that were around town. At least three, four different motorcycles were around. Um, so I reached out to my contacts outside the house and they were asking me to stay. They were making this sign and they started talking with the guys in the motorcycle. So I had to stay put. Yeah? Time, Mr. Avisa, no? This is very exclusive footage, guys, that I'm bringing you out here. Um, risking a bit of, uh, risking my life a bit here. My friends are waiting for his people to clear because they are outside his house and I can't be seen breaking in. So I'm gonna have to leave pretty quick. As I managed to get out, we immediately jumped in the car and I started 
right away to hide all my footage to put it on iCloud to make backups and delete everything from my phone I took out the uh, memory of my GoPro in case we were stopped uh, so we jumped in the car started driving out of Jesus Maria we went out the dirt road into the main highway and we're heading out to these arches that said Jesus Maria Feliz Viaje and I, I noticed that the sicarios on motorcycles gathered and made a checkpoint right in that spot. So we had to go through that checkpoint. I rolled my window down and one of the men made, the, made a sign uh, to stop. He was like that, asked me to roll the window down. And I thought, this, this is it, man. And he just asked me, uh, ya acabaron? Uh, are you guys over? And I was like, yes, thank you. And then he said like, todo bien? Everything all right? I again said, yes, todo, todo bien. And he's like, all right, bye bye. He waved us goodbye and we went for it. Our car broke on the worst place ever. We just got out from Mobidio's house after um, being inside having some um, words exchange with um, his mom and attorneys and as we were doing our exit the car broke right outside Jesus Maria we're dealing with it trying to get out from here so we managed to get out of Jesus Maria and make it back to safe I was in my hotel but I had missed my flight for that night that meant that I had to oversleep in Culiacán, going against all security protocol. And after changing my outfit, I'm ready to leave this town because um, I learned that Ovidio's people is um, staying here at the same hotel. So I'm not planning on going out, but I need to eat something. Um, and I still have a couple of hours yet to, to go. Even though I wasn't supposed to spend uh, a night to overnight here in Culiacán for security reasons, especially after learning that um, Ovidio's attorneys were staying in the same hotel, I literally didn't go out from my room since um, yesterday when we got out of Jesus Maria and this morning is finally time to go back home. <laughs> 